morning. Okay, boys and girls. Today we are going to go on with Chinese and Western music. And in last lecture, we have talked about Chinese opera, right? Yes. And today we are going to have something about different types of Western music genres. First, we need to compile. Okay, a pair of words. Okay, music and sound. Okay, what is the difference between music and sound? Maybe the biggest difference between these two is sounds cannot evoke any emotions in different people, but music does. Okay, so sounds never evoke the same emotions in different people, but music does. That is to say, sound cannot. Make people have the same feelings, while music will let people have the same feelings. Because music is a very good way for people to express their feelings, emotions. Yes. And second, now let's get to know what is music. Of course, there is no. Okay, specific definition to music, but anyway, we can say a comprehensive and universal definition of music is practically non-existent. Non-existent. That means all over the world, we cannot have a common definition to music, since there are so many different music genres in the world. First. Let's get to know what is classical music. Okay,、mm. this is the typical scene of performing classical music. Yes, you see, a group of people are in a large, okay, auditorium, and all of them wearing, okay, yes, black clothes, and. There is a conductor here, right? He is frantically waving his stuff about, right? Okay, so maybe we can say classical music is the music of the old days. Why we say that? That is because, okay, although most of us listen, to,、uh, have almost forgotten classical music. We listen to it every day. That is because most of what we hear now is derived from what the great classical composers created decades and centuries ago. Okay. Yes. Maybe we can use the three pictures to describe a typical or a basic. Performance of classical music. Yes, a group of people performing are performing in a large audience, auditorium, and a group a group of people are performing with the with the conductor. Okay, waving his hands. Okay, okay. Orchestras play in the joint auditorium. Auditorium means yes, in Yue Ting, wearing black clothes. Yes, that means all of the performers wear formally, and with the conductor frantically, frantically means enthusiastically. Yes, waving his stuff about. Yes, all the performers are under the command of. This conductor, yes, this is a typical or this is a basic description of classic music. Classical music, yes. And the second musical genre in Western countries is okay. Can you guess what is it? Oh yes, that's right. Okay, that is rock music. Okay, maybe we can say we are not clear. Why rock music is popular, and also we are not clear about the origins of rock music. 
But we know rock music. This term was coined in 1955 by Alan Freed. Okay, what is El Alan Freed? Yes, he is a disc jockey. Okay, disc jockey. Yes, we often abbreviate it into DJ. Yes, okay. That means uh, 电台的音乐节目主持人. Yes. And now if you go to a disco, yes, you will also have a disc jockey, right? Okay. And, okay, Alan Fried, Fried yes, he is from Ohio. He gave the name rock music to this musical genre, okay? And the oldest form of rock music was a mixture of R&B, and we will talk it talk about it later. Country, yes, country music and rockabilly, okay, rockabilly, yes. Only it was faster, louder, and more dangerous, yes. And when we are talking about rock music, we cannot afford to ignore this man. Yes, you know who is he? Oh, yes, he is Elvis Presley, yes, that is what we call Ma Wang, yes, he is a representative of rock music, yes, Elvis Presley was the man at the forefront of rock music, that is to say, Elvis Presley is the representative of rock music, and he was followed by pers personalities like Chuck Berry and Little Richard, yes, Followed, okay, Tracy, yes. And the third musical genre in Western countries is rock music. Okay. Yes, the rock scene in the 1950s. Yes. It has the following characteristics. The rock scene in the 1950s was more about shock value, okay, which included fashion statements, sexually oriented lyrics, okay, it, lyrics means and dance moves catering to young audience in particular. So that means rock music is especially popular among young people, yes. And the third, Okay, the third is blues. Okay, when we talk about blues, definitely we will think of black people in America, yes. See, this is a performer of blues. He's a black man, yes. And this is also a portrait of a, okay, blues performer, okay. And it is believed that the blues music was created in the late 19th century by the black slaves, black slaves that were forced to work in the cotton fields. Okay, so that means, you know, when black slaves were walking in fields, they were forbidden to do many activities, but singing was permitted. Okay. And Yes, all these are blues performers. Blues has firm roots in African traditional music. The purpose of making blues is always the same. The expression of intense emotions. Intense emotions means strong feelings. Okay, Bla black slaves when they are when they were walking working okay they they expressed their strong feelings by by singing blues and blues had such a profound effect on america and eventually it is it is it is influential in the world Blues is usually categorized by location of a style. Location means place, yes, because everywhere
where the blues went. It caught a different feel. So according to different places, there will be different kinds of blues. Yes, that's it. And the fourth musical genre in Western countries is jazz. Yes, jazz. Jazz is the second genre born from African traditional music. So do you still remember what is the first, first genre born from African traditional music? We have mentioned just now. Oh, yes, that is blues. Yes, jazz is the second genre born from African traditional music. And jazz is considered to be America's first, okay, First, indigenous. Okay, indigenous means authentic, Bantu, or the form of music. Yes. So when people are talking about jazz, definitely they will think jazz is from uh, America. Mm -hmm. And you see from the pictures, Jazz is always performed by a group of people, okay, using different musical instruments, yes. Jazz is believed to have started after the Civil War, yes, Civil War means when the black people were free to travel and seek employment. And similar to blues, the jazz styles are also classified according to time and location. That means in different time and in different locations, there will be different kinds of jazz. Okay, so that's something about jazz. And next is folk. Yes, we have said that folk is not only existent in Western countries, but also it is existent in China. That means in any country, there would be something about folk music. And, yes, folk music can be broadly classified into two groups. Yes, traditional folk, yao, and folk revival, that is, Fuxing Mingyao. The, the actual folk songs are something that are indigenous to a culture. So then what do we say? Folk music can always truly express the, some aspects of uh, culture. Popularized at events and passed on mostly orally. Yes, that means folk music is always is always passed from one generation to another, okay, orally, orally. And the other group can be collectively called folk music or folk revival music, okay, Fu It is commercially successful, credible to artists who exist and are relatively new, okay. And the sound is derived from old folk songs and the lyrics are created wholly by the artist or drawn from the folk song itself. Okay, so when we are listening to some folk music, the appreciation of the lyrics is also quite good. And next musical genre in Western country is country music. Yes. Okay. Like blues music, country music emerged from folk songs of the southern U.S. and in the early 1920s. Yes. Yeah, this is a typical picture of People are singing musical, uh, are singing country music. Okay.
Yes, country music contains elements from various countries, such as Ireland, Italy, Germany, and numerous African countries. Okay, so far we have got to know most of the musical genres in Western countries are closely related to African countries, right? Yes. Okay. And many of the early instruments in country music were string instruments. With the notable exception of the harmonica, okay, harmonica, yes, okay, 口琴 And this one, R and B. You know what does it stand for? Yes, okay, it stands for yes, rhythm and blues. 节奏布鲁斯 was the name coined due to need rather than style. That is to say. R and B. This name is given according to the need, but not to its musical form. Why we need such a name R and B? Okay, it is clo closely linked to the situation of black people in the United States. Now let's get to know something about the history. Okay, during the nineteen forties. Any music created by African American populace was termed black music or race music. So this term was quite offensive. Okay, it offended black people in the United States, and therefore stunted the growth and the popularity of the artists. Okay, stunt stunt means 阻碍妨碍 Yes. So, under such a condition, okay, Billboard reporter Jerry Wexler coined R and B, and this phrase has stuck since then. Okay, and you know, it, when we are talking about R and B, who is the representative in China? Yes, that is J. Chou. Yes, Chou Jielun. Yes. Okay, and the last one is hip hop. Okay, I think you guys like hip hop, right? Yes, it's quite popular among you young guys. Okay, favorite among youngsters all over the world. Hip hop is one of the most popular modern genres of music. And hip hop emerged as an offshoot of the hip hop movement in the 1970s. Centered in Bronx, the the movement soon spread to the rest of the U.S. And hip hop benefited from the expansion and became one of the most followed genres of the 20th century. Okay, that is the eight. Okay, musical genres. Okay, since the nineteen nineties, hip hop has become synonyms. You know, synonyms means the words which has the similar word, similar meaning to another word. Yes, 同义词 with rapping. Although rapping is only one part of hip hop. Yes. Okay. When we say but the sentence tells us that, okay, hip hop. Is usually being named as rapping. Well, you must be clear that rapping is just one part of hip hop. Yes, that's the eight Western musical genres. So much for today's lecture. Thank you for your attention.